Hey guys, Terrence here. Today I'll be doing our first annual filter replacements on our Big Blue Water filtration system. And I'm curious to see how the filter is gonna look after one year of constant uh, operation. So there hasn't been any indicators or there's no signs in the water that uh, will give me a reason to change the filters because the water still tastes great. There's no staining, there's no discoloration, but I'm curious to see how they're gonna look. And I can, I'm very pleased with this product. I mean, very, very pleased. The replacement filters only cost me, they were less than 50 bucks. And I'll show you guys the filters that I got. And I'll show you guys the entire process of me removing them and installing them. So let's see how they are, they're gonna look. And let's get started. Okay guys, the house is a mess. I got things all over the place. I was gonna film me installing this bead panel, but there's so many videos online and I just chose not to do it. I just installed it in this area. It's gonna look extremely nice when I'm done. I'm about to do some caulking and some painting in a minute, but I decided to do this filter video. So let me get set up. Okay, the very first thing we need to do, but I've done it already, was take the pressure off these lines, even though I have, I can turn it off at those sections. Uh, make sure the pressure is off in your water system. Make sure the water's turned off. Actually, this water's turned off already, done it already. I actually broke the breaker. I got the breaker turned off for the pump that runs the well. And I got the faucet open. All the taps are open. So there's no water coming through, not even a drip. And with these, there's a, those red, these, you can check the pressure on this. If I push it down on them, let's see, Jesse. No pressure, which is great. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna be. Uh, these filters are gonna look when we remove them and but like I said make sure the water is turned off before we get started make sure it's empty I mean the system is uh, fully drained so let me set up and get started and get these filters off oh yeah keep the filter wrench here you can kind of hang it on the wall if you have a slot but I just keep it up here I got some dust everywhere but I'll wipe it out okay, so let me set my tripod up and let's start removing these filters before I get started, these are the filters. I've been ordered them, I just have them on standby. And the replacements. I'll also show you guys the ones I got. Uh, I'll post the link in the description. inspection so we're gonna I'm gonna clean them out before I put them back in before I install the filter but let's go take it to the bathtub and look at it a little bit more okay you guys I got it set up in the shower get over in here remove this o-ring I'm gonna wipe this clean before I install the new filter clean this out as much as I can and wipes right off so let's lay it down in here one single motion that's way too that's a shit feel good This thing got some layers and it. it got some weight to it too now. Super light at first. <laughs> when I installed it, it was it had a little weight to it, but not like it is now. Let's look inside of here. Well, so let's remove the next two. Hey guys, before we remove these two, let me show you the filters that came with the kit I just bought. It came with two sediment filters. They're five micron each, which is great to catch all those tiny little particles and sediment. And 
it comes with the carbon block filter in its own box. Okay, the second one is out. It's definitely got some weight on it too. Let me get it in a bathtub and let's go take a look. Okay guys, it came with the, 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 the filters I bought last time with the unit actually came with the carbon block filter, which was great, and a coconut shell, GAC coconut shell carbon filter, which is this, that's probably why it lasted for so long because it had this carbon filter bagging up the carbon block filter and then a regular, just a regular sediment filter. Now I only have the carbon block filter and two sediment filters. So let's pour it out. That's why the water's been so clear and tasting great. screws open so let me try to take it apart be right back all right guys look what happened just took this screws right off and look inside of there This is the one that removes the stinking uh, rotten egg smell and or well, the hydrogen sulfide and some of every other thing out the water. And it supposedly can last up to 20,000 gallons in a, just a, res, uh, a regular residential household. And we haven't seen nowhere near that amount of water here. So I'm gonna reinstall this one. I'll change the carbon block in the other one, but I'm gonna reinstall this one. Let's get the the sediment filter to remove it see how they okay it doesn't look that bad but it is looks like it's chewed up definitely was time to uh, replace this one so let's get the in the bathtub and take a uh, closer look at it Oh, this crystal flip on that there. Mm -hmm. This filter was overdue for a change. So I'm gonna uh, reinstall this buddy right here. Just kind of wipe them off a little bit. And kind of clean these out a little bit. All right, be back in a sec. Okay guys, I got the new filters ready that's going in. I think it's senseless to clean those compartments that house the filters. It's just a waste of time just because they're stained. It's not going to affect the water whatsoever. So I'm not going to change. I'm just going to reinstall the new filters and get them up right now. So I'm um, using the old, the, the old coconut shell filter back again because like I said, it can last up to 20,000 gallons if, if there's some uh, sediment filters back in it so that's important too i didn't note that before but it's important to know if some sediment filters back in it which we got two a carbon block and a sediment that thing lasts up to twenty thousand gallons so if it's by itself i'm not sure how much how long will it last but uh you should check into that if you're just gonna run that uh coconut shell filter by itself so let's get the new filters installed oh another thing i want to know is what this comes off but you definitely want this is a piece of rubber this is a rubber uh, rain gasket of some sort. I guess it sit down in the slot down there. There's one on the opposite side as well. Maybe to keep the filter from kind of tilting over, but we're gonna install. This is the carbon block. There's a rubber under here as well. So we're gonna set it right in there. Set this 
sediment filter. It doesn't matter. Just like to put it back in the same place. And I got my O rings. Make sure I make sure these wiped off, and not just blocking uh them from actually leaking. So I definitely want these cleared off. These rings, the other ones in uh, in the water room there. So uh, let's get these uh, and stuff. So I got a towel. I'm gonna clean right here with these with the O rings. See that? Let's wipe right off. That's the only thing I will clean. And we're gonna install, this is the carbon black filter, so this one's going over. Okay, first filter is installed. That's the carbon block, so with the coconut shell in the middle and the sediment at the end. So, okay, we got the second filter installed. Now let's do the last one, which is the micron filter. I don't have a spare one left. So. Uh, quick tip. I'm using the tile to wipe the ring off. So when you get that clean and you get uh well the ring seat set clean. You set it up here. Make sure you want to go up like that. I'll post the camera this time. I'm not just last one. This is the lightest one. I'll post the camera uh, so you guys can see how I go up with it to make sure you want to keep this seated in here. Correctly, you don't want it to be like this, or just yeah, go inside of here somehow, because you know we have a bad leak, especially with the pressure we got on our well. Water be sp uh, spewing everywhere. So let me set my camera to you guys. As you can see, I got it seated up here. I just wanna hold the bottom up. Try to turn it in as straight as possible. Pretty tight. Okay, I'm going to turn the water on. Now, right now, let me open this up. I should have opened this one first, but it doesn't matter. I should have closed that off. But as you can hear it, You guys can still hear it. Okay, the pump just turned off. Uh, we don't have any leaks, of course not. I got the seat in here nicely, and that's it. I'm very, 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 very impressed with this. Just before, we only had the tank, the softener, and that's it. No filtration system, so we was getting it. Rodney egg smell discoloration in the water all the uh around the taps i mean the the tub and the faucet and the shower head uh rust so now that's gone we don't get anything just clear great tasting water so uh i guess i'm done if you like this video guys if you find it helpful um please subscribe to the channel support the channel i'm trying to grow it now i'm really trying to grow it now i just want to help i just want to upload so many videos of all the things i do i mean i do so many things so i just want to show you guys and if i can help doing the process that'll be great so uh subscribe to the channel and tear some out